take off with eight nothing lead, but then y'all oh. kind of found your found found your range a little bit. Yeah, Jabri did, right? He, did, yeah. he found his range for all of us. He got it going. Uh, really went off uh, there in the first half and uh, thought our guys did a good job of finding him. And mm -hmm. he did a good job moving without the ball. And he's got a quick high release and uh, made some shots, got us going. Coach, what about Silas? Uh, I think it was like six assists, zero turnovers. Zero turnovers. Most Solid play, uh, making people around him better, making great decisions, um, making better in decisions for a freshman. He's just, he's got great poise, physical toughness, um, and he's about winning. You know, you, you look at the stat sheet, and it's uh, it's often like this. You know, where he's very efficient, uh, he's he's usually positive in the plus minus. Just a, he's a solid player, only getting better. Yeah. Efficiency and all. Oh. They got off to a quick start too with the threes, but then y'all changed like y'all changed things up defensively and were able to kind of slow them down. Yeah, it's a little. Um, you know, it, it, it speaks rather to the the culture that they have there and the um, the buy-in to the fact that they play teams that all they talk about is defending the three and negating their three-point attempts, and it's all we've talked about for 48 hours. Drilling it, talking about it, watching it on film, and they still get 42 attempts off. You know, um, they're really good at it. They space you. They run great stuff. They also pass it well. You know, one through five to get each other those looks. Mm -hmm. Thank God they missed a few for us, uh, but they're good. And you know, we got a lot of respect for the program. They're going to be a really tough out in their league. Seven straight wins. What does that mean heading into the break and with SEC play right around the corner? You know, we've got some momentum. Um, we we continue to get better in certain areas, but overall we've got to get a lot better in, in a few to be really competitive in our league, as we know, and we don't have a lot of time left. Got one more tune-up in Alabama A&M after Christmas. Our guys uh, need a mental and physical break. Uh, when we come back, we'll get back to work. Uh, we've got to rebound better. We've got to defend better. Uh, we've got to be more efficient offensively. Um, it was, it was nice to see also, you know, a couple of guys that hadn't been getting much opportunity. Dylan James showed that, you know, he, um, he's, he's a talented guy that, um, that uh, potentially could, could help us in SEC play as well. So we've got those things to figure out in addition. You mentioned the other night that you've seen some better things from Dylan in practice, <coughs> or at least that kind of yeah. they were able to gather today a little bit more. He's strung together some – some quality practices pretty consistently now for three weeks or so. And it was my goal in the last couple to try to get him in there and give him opportunity, um, you know, to evaluate. You know, you, 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 we're trying to win. We're trying to put our best guys out there. And, um, you know, he's, he's earned the opportunity to, um, to be thrown out there. And he took advantage today. I thought he was really good. He was plus 15 in 17 minutes. Again, efficient, plays within himself. Uh, had a finish there in the paint that he's uh, normally, you know, in practice finishing, you know. But for his first time getting playing time in a long time, was I thought that was really impressive. As a coach, would you give you know, guys like Brandon and Jay just a couple of minutes anyway? Oh, it was great. They go through and practice and know everything. Uh, yeah, those I guys are – that's oh, awesome. Those guys are a big part of our program and, and what we do every day. Um, our guy, you know, their teammates um, – cherish their relationships with those two guys as, as much as they do with, with each other, you know, uh, even though those guys haven't been given much opportunity. So I wish that three ball would have went down for, for BK and it would have been a nice assist for Jaden. But they're, they're great young men, and um, it was nice to see them out there. And Dylan get to play against their brother. Was pretty cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, great family. Uh, Dorian's having a good year, and, and we'll be pulling for those guys the rest of the season. Mike, you guys have three high major wins. How important is it not to slip up in these mid-major games to have your Huge. Yeah, huge. I mean, so we put up some of that computer stuff and, and quad one, quad two, three, four, all, you know, the, all the analytical stuff, the Ken Palm numbers. And we did all that in the preseason, um, probably as much as we've ever done, um, just to get out of the way. And um, our guys understand it's important to win some of the ones, some of the ones that you've got to win to be in the conversation and avoid the ones that, uh, that um, can really hurt you. And, um, We've, for the most part, we've taken care of business. How do you get buy-in on that? I mean, is that easy to do? Yeah, you know, all of our guys want to play postseason. They, they, 
it's it's all of their dream to um, while they're in college to, to hopefully play in the NCAA tournament. And there's going to be a bunch of teams in our league that that play in it. I, you know, I don't think that uh, most people out there have us pegged to go right now, but we're going to have tons of opportunities if we can continue to develop and grow together um, within league play. Um, so it, it's it's. The great part about being in the SEC right now, it, it being the best conference in, in college basketball, is every night you're going to have great opportunities just about, you know, to, um, if you can win some, you know, to uh, put yourself in the conversation. we got to get better, though. Yeah, one, two more. You touched on the SEC being a really tough conference. How do you go about preparing from your younger guys for that tough level of play? Well, the first thing you do is, is, is scheduling, and we've played the six high majors, which help us as opposed to playing, you know, two or three or four. Um, that said, there's a lot of teams in our league that are better th than some of the teams we've played, of course. But uh, that's one thing you do, and, and we talk about it. We watch film, and you know whether it's North Florida or Alabama A&M or Missouri, you know we're going to continue to stress things that we're doing well, things that'll translate to winning in our league, and things that just won't translate. Whether you win the game or lose the game, that this isn't going to help you win at Missouri, you know. And and we'll watch some of today's stuff uh, when we get back. What does it look like between now and the next game? Which is yeah, I'll rest. We're giving these guys some time, um, much needed, deserved, and uh, it's just kind of it's our philosophy, year in and year out around the holidays to um, allow our guys mentally and physically to recharge. I, I want our guys to get away from it a little bit, you know, and gear up, especially mentally, you know, for the SEC season. It's a long haul, and um, you know, I. I for the most part, when we've given guys breaks, they come back and they've missed it a little bit and they're rejuvenated and we've got a little bit more pep in our step in practice.